Listen. Did you hear that? This isn't a fun movie, this isn't a happy movie, this isn't a positive movie, this isn't like a fuck. This is a story I never ever wanted to tell. This is it. This is the moment of truth. The radiology center's right there and they're gonna like, they're gonna look inside my knee and let me know if this is like a... See, I'm not a guy who's afraid of much. I'm not afraid of fast motorcycles, <laughs> jumping out of airplanes, flying in helicopters. Risk, risk is something I typically do not avoid. This is crazy height. Yeah, it's really crazy. There are only a few things in life that scare the ever-living sh out of me and this video is about one of those things. I'm injured. Something is wrong with my leg and there's definitely a chance that I'll never be able to run. So I was diagnosed after the MRI with what's called patellofemoral chondromalacia. Um, it's a form of arthritis but it basically boils down to I have no longer, I have no more um, cartilage in my knees. You're the, you and I are the same age. What does this mean for the rest of your life? I used to wake up before work and run 10, 12 miles for fun. And, and now if I do three, four, I know that I'm going to be in a lot of pain for the rest of the day. That's my sister. She had a knee injury. She kept running and now she's kind of, kind of, she can't run like she wants to and she'll never be able to again for the rest of her life. I don't love going to the doctor. I don't ever love going to the doctor. Now, I first noticed the pain in early July. That was like three months ago. And here's the thing. I run like 60 to 80 miles a week, every week, and I've done about that for the last 10 years plus. You get pains all the time. This one was a little different. It was persistent. It never went away. And I haven't been totally irresponsible. The minute I felt a pain, I went to a guy, a running specialist. He taught me some stretches. I've been doing it. Here, lie on your side, face me. And now bend, get on a diagonal. Try to do 50 reps before you go for a run. I broke my leg about a decade ago. I broke in 27 places. Is this right here? This is all metal. And in the hospital, the doctor told me, Casey, you're never gonna be able to run again. But I was 26 years old then, and there's no way I was gonna let that doctor tell me I was never gonna run again. And since that day, since the doctor told me I'd never run again, I've run, I've run 24 marathons, I've done four full distance Ironmans, that's 140 mile races. I've done God knows how many other races, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, sprint distance triathlons, Olympic distance triathlons, half distance Ironmans. I, I've done them all. I've done nothing but races and running for the last decade. And for some reason, this has got me freaked the fuck out. Four in the morning, and I'm zoning, they say I'm possessed. It's the omen, I keep it 300. Like the Romans, 300 bitches, where the Trojans, baby, we living in the moment. I've been a menace for the longest, but I ain't finished. I'm devoted, and you know it, and you know it. So follow me, y'all, cause this shit about to go. I'm doing 500, I'm out of control. But there's nowhere to go. And there's no way to slow. If I knew what I knew in the past, I would have been like that on your ass. <sighs> I gotta leave all my stuff in here, including this camera. They're going to check me out now.
Now, I've got an addictive personality. It's why it's why I don't do drugs. I avoid drinking. I, I, I focus on the things in life that I can let myself become addicted to. That's family, that's work, and that's running. But running, running is a, a unique part of my personality, of my brain, of who I am. I run almost every single day. I don't end my runs when I'm tired. I end my runs when I run out of time. If I had more time, I would run more. I run once a day, sometimes twice a day. I'll run a dozen miles on Monday, another dozen on Tuesday, and I'll keep that going until some sort of external force gets in my way. You see, this city, my life, life in general, family, friends, the noises, the distraction, my work, everything is nonstop. Everything in life is just absolute chaos and I'd have it no other way, but through all of that mania, through all of that chaos, there's one consistent, there's one thing that's mine, one thing that I absolutely can't live without, one thing that makes me sane, one thing that grounds me, and that, that one thing is running. <laughs> Good news and all right, I've got no news. Turns out it takes 24 to 48 hours before my doctor gets to review that MRI and I find out what's going on. So this is gonna have to be a to be continued episode. Sorry I don't have a real ending, but trust me when I say your desire to find out the conclusion to this story is nothing compared to my desire to find out the conclusion to this story. Thank you.